Minnesota DMV Motorcycle Practice Test. Question 1. When preparing to slow down, you should check. A. To see if there is traffic behind you. B. To your left and right. C. To make sure you are in neutral before stopping. D. The gauges on your motorcycle. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. When preparing to slow down, you should check to see if there is traffic behind you. You may want to flash your brake light, so they notice that you are slowing down. Question 2. If you brake hard on a straightaway and your rear brake locks. A. Continue braking until the motorcycle stops. B. Release the brake and only use the front brake. C. Pull the engine kill switch. D. Release all brakes and coast to a stop. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. If you brake hard on a straightaway and your rear brake locks, continue braking until the motorcycle stops. If your front brake locks, release it immediately and apply it again. Question 3. The rear brake on a motorcycle is operated by A. The left hand lever B. The right hand lever C. A button on the hand grip D. A foot pedal 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. The rear brake on a motorcycle is operated by the foot pedal. The front brake is operated by the hand lever. Question 4. The safest way to use saddlebags is to A. Distribute the weight evenly between them. B. Not carry a passenger at the same time. C. Use only one at a time. D. Make sure all of them are full. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The safest way to use saddlebags is to distribute the weight evenly between them. Question 5. Using fill in the blank is the best way to fasten cargo to a motorcycle. A. The sissy bar. B. Strips of cloth. C. Strong rope. D. Elastic cords. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Using elastic cords is the best way to fasten cargo to a motorcycle. Even strong rope can loosen, or knots can come undone. Question 6. Which of the following is the most likely place for a collision? A. On a hill. B. At an intersection. C. On a one-way road. D. On a curve. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. The most likely place for a collision is at an intersection. Motorcycles are often not seen by the drivers. Question 7. If you have a blood alcohol concentration of, fill in the blank, or above, you are considered intoxicated. A. 0.09% B. 0.08% C. 0.01% D. 0.05% 5 4 3 2 1. Answer B. If you have a blood alcohol concentration of 0.08% or above, you are considered intoxicated. Question 8. What is one cause of skidding while turning? A. Using the wrong brake. B. Using the wrong gear. C. Applying too much brake. D. 
pulling in the clutch too quickly. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. If you apply too much brake in a turn, the motorcycle may skid. Question 9. A benefit of riding in the center lane position is it? A helps you maintain a consistent speed. B keeps you hidden from other drivers. C prevents others from sharing your lane. D allows you to turn easily. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. A benefit of riding in this center lane position is it discourages other drivers and riders from trying to share your lane space. Motorcycles require a full lane width to operate safely. Question 10. Riding, fill in the blank, decreases your chances of being seen. A. Near other motorcycles. B. Alongside other vehicles. C. While using your high beam. D. In residential areas. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. Riding alongside other vehicles decreases your chances of being seen because you could be riding in their blind spot. Question 11. The best group formation for riding through curves is A. The staggered formation. B. Single file. C. In pairs. D. A V-shaped formation. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. When riding through curves, it is best to ride single file. You may need to change your lane position throughout the curve. Question 12. When you are being passed from behind, what portion of the lane should your motorcycle be in? A. Center. B. Any. C. Right. D. Left. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. When being passed, maintain a center of the lane position. Beware of side mirrors and stuff thrown out of the window of the passing vehicle that could hit you. Question 13. If you believe that your motorcycle has not triggered a light sensor while stopped at a traffic light, when can you proceed? A. After waiting for 120 seconds. B. When it is safe to do so. C. After waiting two light cycles. D. All of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. If you believe that your motorcycle has not triggered a light sensor while stopped at a traffic light, you can proceed after waiting for 120 seconds or two full light cycles, and it is safe to proceed. Question 14. When driving at night, what is the best way to identify bumps in the road? A. Use the lights of the vehicle ahead of you. B. Scan the road often. C. Use your high beam. D. Only drive where there are street lights. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. When driving at night, the best way to identify bumps in the road is to use the lights of the vehicle ahead of you. If you see the vehicle's tail lights bouncing up and down, it is driving over bumps. Question 15. How can you help balance yourself during motorcycle turns? A. Take your feet off the foot pegs for balance. B. Turn your torso in the direction of the turn. C. 
Lean the opposite direction of the motorcycle. D. Keep your knees against the gas tank. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. To help balance yourself during motorcycle turns, you should keep your knees against the gas tank. Question 16. What is the best lane position for being seen? A. The center of the lane. B. The left part of the lane. C. The right part of the lane. D. The best lane position changes depending on the situation. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. In general, there is no single best position for riders to be seen and to maintain a space cushion around the motorcycle. No portion of the lane needs to be avoided including the center. An experienced rider changes position from one side of the lane to another as traffic conditions change. Question 17. To help keep the motorcycle steady through a turn, you should A. Maintain or increase your speed B. Increase your speed C. Decrease your speed D. Maintain or decrease your speed 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. To help keep the motorcycle steady through a turn, you should maintain or increase your speed. Question 18. Which of the following should be avoided when carrying cargo? A. Securing cargo as low as possible. B. Securing cargo with elastic cords. C. Fastening excess cargo to the sissy bar. D. Filling saddlebags evenly. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Fastening cargo to the sissy bar can make the motorcycle unstable because it raises the center of gravity. Keep cargo low and balanced for safety. Question 19. When traveling behind a car, a motorcycle rider must ride, fill in the blank, where a driver is most likely to see him or her. A. In the center portion of the lane. B. In the driver's blind spot. C. In the right side of the lane. D. In the left side of the lane. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. When traveling behind a car, you must ride in the center portion of the lane where a driver is most likely to see you. That should put your image in the middle of the car's rearview mirror. Question 20. When you are riding at night, it is best to A. Ride slower than you do during the day. B. Not use your headlight. C. Stay close behind the car in front of you. D. Wear a tinted face shield. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. When riding at night, it is best to ride slower than you do during the day so you can see hazards in advance and react quickly to the unexpected. Question 21. When parking in a parallel parking space next to a curb, Position the motorcycle. A. At an angle with the front wheel on the curb. B. At an angle with the rear wheel on the curb. C. At an angle with the front wheel to the curb. D. At an angle with the rear wheel to the curb. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. If parking in a parallel parking space next to a curb, position the motorcycle at an angle with the rear wheel to the curb. Question 22. Motorcycle cargo should NOT be secured with A. Saddle banks B. Tank banks C. Rope D. Elastic cords 
five, four, three, two, one. Answer C. Motorcycle cargo should not be secured with rope. Knots can come undone, or ropes can loosen. Question 23. A. Uh, fill in the blank. Second following distance gives you a minimum amount of space to stop or swerve. If the driver ahead stops suddenly. A5. B1. C2. D3. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. By leaving a minimum of 2 seconds between you and the vehicle in front of you, you give yourself a minimum amount of space to stop or swerve. If the driver ahead stops suddenly. Question 24. When crossing a very slippery surface, you should A. Accelerate or maintain speed. B. Use the front brake only. C. Pull in the clutch and coast. D. Stop and walk the bike across. 5 4 3 2 1. Answer C. When crossing a very slippery surface, you should pull in the clutch and coast slowly. Question 25. What type of clothing is best for daytime riding? A. Colorful clothing. B. Leather clothing. C. Fluorescent clothing. D. Any type of clothing. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. During daytime riding, wear fluorescent clothing to be the most visible to other drivers. Question 26. What are the four steps to making a proper turn? A. Look, press, roll, slow. B. Slow, press, look, roll. C. Slow, look, press, roll. D. Press, look, slow, roll. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. To make a proper turn, you should slow your speed. Look where you want to go, press lean in the direction of the turn, and roll the throttle. Question 27. How can you ride safely on slippery surfaces? A. Reduce your speed and avoid sudden moves. B. Lean opposite to the motorcycle during turns. C. Increase your speed to maintain balance. D. Ride on the slipperiest portion of the lane. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. You can ride safely on slippery surfaces by reducing your speed and avoiding sudden moves. Question 28. Grabbing the front brake could result in A. A rear wheel lock. B. A. Front wheel lock. C. Pupping a tire. D. Stopping quickly. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. Grabbing the front brake can result in a front wheel lock. Apply the brake with steady pressure. Question 29. When it comes to drivers, Eye contact. A is not a guarantee that they will yield to you. B should be made before crossing any intersection. C should be avoided to discourage aggression. D ensures that they will stop and let you through. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Eye contact is not a guarantee that drivers will yield to you. Often, 
they don't notice motorcyclists even when they are looking directly at them. Question 30. Why is maintaining a space cushion important? A. It gives you time to react. B. It gives you time to correct your mistakes. C. It gives you space to maneuver. D. It does all of these. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Maintaining a space cushion is important because it gives you time to react, space to maneuver, and time to correct your own mistakes. Question 31. What controls the front brake? A. The left hand lever. B. The right hand lever. C. The left foot pedal. D. The right foot pedal. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. The right hand lever controls the front brake. Question 32. If the rear wheel locks, you should A. Not release the brake. B. Grab the front brake. C. Release the brake. D. Increase the throttle. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. If the rear wheel locks, do not release it. Keep it locked until the motorcycle comes to a stop. Question 33. When approaching an intersection, the best way to reduce your reaction time is to A. Avoid wearing a full face helmet. B. Cover the clutch and the brake. C. Avoid using the highest gear. D. Keep the clutch pulled in when not accelerating. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. When you are in a hazardous situation, the best way to reduce your reaction time is to cover the clutch and brake. Question 34. A hazardous place for motorcycles to travel is A. On rural roads B. In school zones C at intersections. D on freeways. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. A hazardous place for motorcycles to travel is at intersections because many cars are doing different things and may not see the motorcycle. Question 35. The front brake is controlled by. A. The left hand lever. B. The right hand lever. C. The left foot pedal. D. The right foot pedal. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. The front brake is controlled by the right hand lever. Question 36. Only drinking one drink per hour. A. Ensures you will not be over the legal limit. B. Does not guarantee you will not be affected by the alcohol. C. Is the legal limit for males. D. Prevents drunkenness if drinking beer. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. Only drinking one drink per hour does not guarantee that you are sober enough to drive. Question 37. What does the SIPDE Driver Judgment Acronym stand for? A. Scan, Identify, Predict, Decide, Execute. B. C. Identify, Predict, Decide, Examine. C. Scan, Identify, Proceed, Direct, Execute. D. C. Identify. Proceed. Direct. Examine. 
five, four, three, two, one. Answer A. SIPDE stands for scan, identify, predict, decide, execute. Question 38. The least effective method of attaching cargo to your motorcycle is by using A. Elastic cords B. Tank bags C. Ropes D. Saddle bags 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. You should avoid attaching cargo to a motorcycle with ropes. Ropes can loosen over time and knots can come undone. It is best to use elastic cords. Question 39. When slowing down when others may not expect it, you should. A. Beep your horn. B. Change lanes before slowing down. C. Shoulder check your blind spot. D. Flash your brake light. 5. 4. Three, two, one. Answer D. When slowing down when others may not expect it, you should tap your brake, which will flash your brake light and alert other drivers. Question 40. When choosing a lane position, the best position. A is the left of the lane position. B is the center of the lane position. C is the right of the lane position. D is the one where you are most likely to be seen. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. The best lane position is the lane position where you are most likely to be seen. Question 41. It is safest to approach obstacles at a fill-in-the-blank angle. A 180 degree B 25 degree C 45 degree D 90 degree 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. It is safest to approach obstacles straight on at a 90 degree angle. Question 42 your motorcycle chain should be checked. A. Before every ride is part of the TCLOCS inspection. B. Once a month. C. At the start of each season. D. Once a week. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. ATCLOCS inspection should be conducted before every ride, and includes these checks, T-tires and wheels, C-controls, L-lights and electrics, O-oil and other fluids, C-chassis, S-stands. Question 43. To help maintain balance, your feet should A. Skim the ground during turns B. Point down toward the road C. Be placed firmly on the foot pegs DB against the gas tank. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. To help maintain balance, your feet should be placed firmly on the foot pegs. Question 44. You should cover the clutch and brake whenever you want to. A. Alert others to your actions. B. Reduce your reaction time. C. Slow down. D. Change lanes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. You should cover the clutch and brake whenever you want to reduce your reaction time. Question 45. When seated properly on your motorcycle, your arms should be A. Locked at the elbows B. Slightly bent at the elbows C. Bent at a 90 degree angle D. Positioned with your hands above your elbows 
five, four, three, two, one. Answer B. When seated properly on your motorcycle, your arms should be slightly bent. It allows you to turn safely and accurately. Question 46. When you feel like a driver might try to share your lane, what should you do? A. Ride in the center lane position. B. Use hand signals. C. Swerve from side to side. D. Flash your brake light. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. When you feel like a driver might try to share your lane, you should ride in the center lane position to discourage the driver from lane sharing. Question 47. When preparing to merge into the middle lane of a three lane road, what should you check? A. The lane beside you in the far lane. B. Your speed limit, to make sure you are not exceeding it. C. Your throttle, to make sure it is not stuck. D. Your signal light, to make sure it is working. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. When preparing to merge into the middle lane of a three-lane road, you should check the middle lane and the far lane. Someone from the far lane may be planning to merge into the middle lane. Question 48. To warn drivers you are slowing down in an unusual place, you can. A. Shift gears instead of braking. B. Flash your brake light. C. Raise slightly off your seat. D. Swerve from side to side. 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. To warn drivers you are slowing down in an unusual place, you can tap the brake pedal to flash your brake light to the driver behind you. Question 49. When riding on an uneven surface, you can absorb more shock by A. Swerving from side to side B. Applying the brake lightly C. Taking your feet off the footrests D. Rising slightly off the seat 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When riding on an uneven surface, you can absorb more shock by rising slightly off the seat. Question 50. You are turning onto a road with one lane of traffic moving in each direction. Taking a right turn too fast could cause you to A. Tip over your motorcycle B. Veer into the opposing traffic lane C. Hit the vehicle in front of you D. Run off right edge of the road 5 4 3 2 1 Enter B. Taking a turn too fast could cause you to veer into the opposing lane of traffic. Slow down before entering the turn. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and share.